Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter edition. We're going to give you an update on what's going on with all the craziness up in Buffalo with the mob and biker world connected racketeering case that's been going on and then some offshoot cases of that case. Right now, breaking news out of a court filing in Western New York related to an offshoot of the racketeering and bribery case, which was brought against um, strip club owner Peter Gerace Jr. and retired DE agent Joe Bongiovanni. Gerace Jr. is the nephew of reputed Buffalo Mafia Don Joe Pizza Tadaro Jr. Within that case, as everybody knows, leading up to that case, the star witness, Crystal Quinn, died of an intentional overdose um, in August of 2023. In January of this year, an obstruction case related to that homicide was brought against a number of the co-defendants in the initial case, or I I shouldn't say a number, of Geraci Jr. in the initial case, not Bon Giovanni, and five other people. Different judge, same prosecutor. Breaking news, again, I'm Taking a long time to get it out there. Breaking news as of Friday in a court filing seeking a protective order for the discovery process. The FBI in Buffalo has a CI telling them that there is a potential murder contract on the head of U.S. District Judge Elizabeth Wolford and AUSA Joe Trippi, who has been just dogged in his pursuit of, I'll just say, Italian organized crime uh, in Western New York. That's the term they're using in the court filings. They don't like to say mafia or mob. Trippy, over the last, you know, five to 10 years, has been very aggressive in making cases kind of chewing away at the uh, outer edges of the reputed Tadaro crime family empire, formerly the Magadino crime family. But in these in these court filings, the prosecutors are worried that discovery documents with very sensitive information are being leaked. And they cited this CI who they say is somebody, they don't give a ton of background on him, but say that he is somebody that served prison time with both members of the mafia, as well as members of the Western New York outlaw biker world, including the outlaws, rare breed, and Kingsmen. According to the CI, the conversation that was picked up talking about murder contracts came from a Kingsman motorcycle club member saying that he wanted to, quote unquote, execute Wolford and Trippy during the obstruction case against Gerace Jr., Simon Gogolak, who we'll get to in a second, the uh, the the alleged national or international president of the outlaws, Tommy O, his sergeant in arms, Big Scotty Barnes, and the boss of the Rare Breed Motorcycle Club in New York, Michael Ron Coney or Ron Cone, aka Ice Cone, uh, who are charged in obstruction related to the homicide of a federal witness. The original racketeering case was just charges Jerace Jr. and Bon Giovanni is being overseen by Judge Villardo. The news is, is coming so fast and furious right now that just a couple days ago, it came out that Bon Giovanni, although he is not tied at all in any way, shape, or form to the alleged homicide of Quinn, is being investigated for the suspicious death of another witness in in his and Gerace Jr.'s case, Bobby Kaiser, who was a drug dealer, burglar, CI of Bon Giovanni's that popped up dead in May, face down on a bike path. Bon Giovanni was the first to go to trial. He's been separated from Gerace Jr. and went to trial this spring, beat the majority of, or I shouldn't say beat, got a hung jury on the bribery case, on the bribery charges, was convicted of obstruction and lying uh, to investigators. He's going on retrial next month, July 28th, I believe, opening arguments are scheduled for. Uh, and it, it's just, this is uh, this is surreal. 
uh, and, and it's crazier than fiction. So again, he's not tied to this particular new set of murder contracts. He's not tied to the Quinn homicide, but he is being investigated uh, for his role or potential role in retribution against Bobby Kaiser, who was a CI, took the witness stand against Bon Giovanni back in the spring and told the jury that he felt like he was outed by Bon Giovanni as a CI, that Bon Giovanni used him for a short period of time and then burned him by telling other members of the Buffalo underworld that he was a, a, an informer. Bon Giovanni is being accused of pocketing a quarter million dollars to protect mob-connected drug operations being run out of Durace Jr.'s Barrow Strip Club. Crystal Quinn, the star witness, was Durace Jr.'s personal assistant and appointment secretary. Uh, let's get to Simon Gogolak. So uh, Gogolak was the person that was last with Crystal Quinn before she died. She went into hiding with him about 90 miles southwest of Boston in Allegheny County. And in Gogolak's uh, Wellsville, New York residence, he was purportedly hiding her. He had gone to high school with her. Prosecutors believe he was sent at her by the mob and the bikers to get her to lower her guard. She died on August 1st, 2023 of a fentanyl overdose. She was given a, a, a Xanax pill with 400 times a lethal do dose of fentanyl. She had spent the previous week with Gogolak and attended a party uh, hosted by the Rare Breed the night before she died. Rare Breed and Kingsman are the main support clubs for the outlaws. I know this is quite confusing. Uh, Gogolak is another reason that prosecutors are seeking a protective order for the discovery in the obstruction case related to Quinn's homicide. In the filings that came out on Friday, it comes out that it came out that Gogolak, using a social media account being operated, I think, by his girlfriend, started to put out this past winter that he was going to sell his or wanted to sell his discovery documents, which has witness descriptions, addresses, phone numbers, contact, and so forth. Uh, he put it out on his, on his Facebook, said that it was open to the highest bidder. He wanted to sell it to the media, I guess, um, and then was encouraging other Co alleged co-conspirators to do the same. Um, this was very bothersome to prosecutors. There was another social media post in April that alluded to a sealed document that should have never been seen that prosecutors believe was seen. And then the knowledge that they gleaned from that document was dropped onto a social media post. So it, this is getting crazy. I don't know what the reaction, I, I know that, that they were granted that, uh, I believe they were granted the the protection order, but I would su suspect that if there's any truth to this rumor coming from a CI that they're trying to kill the prosecutor and the judge, that there will be more witness tampering obstruction charges coming down the pike. I'm just here to update it. Again, it, it gets crazier by the day in Buffalo. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.